Hey queens, welcome to my channel. I'm Bailey. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, Influencer sent me some products from e.l.f. So I'm going to try them out today for the very first time. So this is a first impressions video, not like a complete review or anything. Um, but before I get on to that, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, everyone hit that like button because it would help your girl out. Now let's get started. So they sent me four things, but we'll get started with the primer. They sent me the very new Power Grip Primer, um, which I've heard that they had before, but I'm not completely sure about that. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be equivalent to the, um, ew, that sound, uh, the Milk Makeup Hydro Primer, which I've never tried, so I couldn't even compare the two. Sorry, this is just, it feels like I'm putting hair gel on my face. Doesn't have a smell. Wow. It's so, I don't know. It's definitely <laughs> tacky. Okay. Um, definitely does not feel that great on the skin. It feels like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just really sticky. Now, they didn't send me this. I bought this myself, like, a little while back. And I have used it once, just to try it out. Um, this is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation in beige. I figured today would be a good day to use this foundation. But, Influencer also sent me this new sponge, which, one, it is huge. I've already got it wet. But the unique thing about this one is that the bottom of it is, like, dipped in silicone or at least that's what it said on the packaging. And so it said that the silicone part was perfect for foundation and then the sponge part was perfect for like blending out other products. So we're gonna try this out. I'm gonna go in with two pumps. I've never used a silicone sponge before so I don't even know what to expect. It, <laughs> It's definitely a different feeling. Um, there's an eyebrow hair. Um, I mean, it blended that out really quickly. That sound is <laughs> something else. I mean, I don't hate it so far. This foundation just, this foundation makes me feel like my skin is just damp, just damp and I can't dry it. It's such an interesting feeling. I, I'm gonna have to like continue to use this foundation because like I said, I have only used it once and it is very, very interesting. Now, I'm really concerned about my nose area because normally I go in with a pore filling primer so that foundation will really get into these areas and not look like I have holes in my skin because if I don't have a primer in those areas or I have a primer that doesn't like fill in my pores, then it looks like I have holes in my skin and it looks really weird. Um, but it doesn't look terrible. I think I would definitely still put a little bit of a pore filling primer on it in the future, but it doesn't look bad. And I can't fault it for that because it doesn't say that it fills in your pores. It just says, what does it say? Yeah, it doesn't even say that it fills pores. It just like helps your makeup last longer. So I cannot fault it for that. I feel like this foundation just I don't know, it's nice, but it doesn't have enough coverage for me. 
Honestly, the sponge, I don't hate the silicone part. Like, I think it blended out my foundation really well. I, I have no complaints on it whatsoever. All right, so now that I have all this on my face, the next thing that I got sent from Influencer was the e.l.f. Lash Beads Defining and Lengthening Mascara. I have never tried a mascara from e.l.f., so I have no idea what to expect. Okay, it's a short, spiky wand. Um, I normally don't go for mascaras like this, but um, we will see. Okay, I'm okay. I think I like it. Oh my god. Oh, that is nice. I love how much it separates my lashes and doesn't like make them clump up too much together. Oh, that is nice. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I, I mean, upon first impression, I'm pretty shook. Pretty, pretty shook. Now, it is not very typical for me to try on a mascara for the first time and be in love with it because typically mascaras just are better after they've dried out some, but this one, Maybe I've just been shopping for the wrong mascaras. Maybe that's what it is. But this is this is nice. This might become a staple. I will not lie. All right, so the last thing that I was sent was the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain in Pinkies Up. And I don't, I don't know. This is, it's not opaque, but it does have some pigment to it. That's what it looks like swatched. And I don't know what a glossy lip stain, it, I mean, I assume it's just a gloss that stains your lips. I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Liner in Forever Rose. This is like my favorite, not, not the shade, but this is my favorite lip liner formula. Like, it's just top notch. L'Oreal did such a good job. All right, now going in with the lip stain. That is the craziest feeling. It just feels like I have water on my lips. I don't know, from far away, it doesn't look bad. But close up, it's just really streaky. Okay. I wasn't expecting, I really didn't think it would look good with this lip liner. For a second I was like, maybe I chose the wrong lip liner, but that, that's cute. Okay, it did settle into my lips a little bit and looks a lot less streaky. Uh, but it does kind of settle in the fine lines of my lips, which I do have because my lips are just naturally that way and naturally dry so there's that but um yeah let's uh go over my final thoughts of these products with my wet hair overall i really kind of like the look I don't do soft makeup that often, so when I do, I feel like it's always a shock to me. I'm always like, wow, I wish I would do this more often, but then I don't. Um, so starting off with the primer, I feel like it did a really, I mean, my foundation laid down nice. My foundation doesn't look like crap, so there's that. I don't know 
what it's going to be like in the future, but I will continue to use this. I think I'm going to use this for this next week to kind of get a feel for it. Um, and yeah, just see how it goes. Again, didn't do the best with the side of my nose. Like I can still see where maybe the foundation didn't like really fully like cover up some of the bigger pores in my nose, but I mean, that's okay. It's not a pore filling primer, so I'm not gonna expect that from it. Um, then we have the sponge, which is now dirty. I have no complaints. I thought it did really nice. The sponge part blended out my concealer very well. No complaints. The silicone part, though it does feel kind of weird like on the face because I'm not used to a silicone like applying my makeup. Um, it applied it very, very well. Um, and I wasn't expecting that. Um, so I really like the sponge. And then, what else did I try? Oh, upon first impression, like this mascara, I really, really like this. I think this is very nice. It gave me everything I need, everything I need. It just looks so nice and pretty. And I like that. It doesn't look too clumpy. My lashes don't look thick and gross. They just look nicely separated and lengthened. And that's what I need. Lastly, the glossy lip stain. I don't hate it. I think it turned out very nice. I think I would like to try other shades. Um, because honestly, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of a shade like this. But... I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think it's definitely worth trying. Um, all in all, I'm very happy that I was sent all these products and thank you so much for Influencer for sending them to me. Really appreciate it. They're probably not gonna see this video, but that's okay. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. I wanted that like button because it would help your girl out. You guys have a good one now. Bye-bye.